it's a collection of contracts. So there's, uh, you know, one for construction, one for term services, one for professional services, and they run almost into a dozen. So. Uh, that, for me, is important because it means that, um, depending on your, the nature of works or services that you're looking to procure, you can really quite simply tailor it to a particular strategy by using forms that, within themselves, individually, are targeted and focused, meaning that the teams are really only coming to grips with procedures that are relevant to that, that part. Um, I think then, uh, taking that a step further, each of the forms, uh, you can further tailor particularly for risk allocation, payment mechanisms, align them to your resourcing, reporting requirements. So I think there's a great power in that, and then used as a collective solution, they're really, they're really very powerful. Um, I think it would be a miss not to also just mention the accessibility of them, uh, and they very much put themselves forward as a, as a procedural uh, contract rather than a transactional one. So um, I think that's really important as well, and they're written in plain English, and you know, I don't think uh, uh, my understanding of management or commercial management in the industry really kicked in until our employer decided to go with NEC. So I think, yeah, some really, really good benefits. I think partly because of the, the answers I've, I've, I've given to part one, but uh, to question one, but also there's um, maybe building on one of those points. So if we, if we picked the sort of uh, procedural nature of it, uh, in fact, there was, a, there was a, uh, one of the, the, the talks given um, at, uh, at this annual seminar picked up on it and I thought it was a really good point. They said that NEC is a framework to all other business operations and I thought that was a really good way of saying it. Um, that procedural nature becomes the focal point for all sorts of other ancillary business bits and pieces which might be unique to the different industries but everybody tends to have sort of a, a reporting requirement, a, a, a governance and financial control requirement, an audit requirement and NEC I think provides you a great canvas to layer those other things on top and provide a very uh, structured and consistent way of delivering a project and, and as I said uh, you know as a, as a young engineer this, this uh, when I first started using it it was that accessibility and the um, relationship that had with those other important employer requirements, contractor requirements to, to run the business side of things that, that married the two things very well and, and delivered a successful project. Again, from the talks we've had uh, at this seminar, really, really powerful, really useful messages. It's the, it's the cutting edge of, of um, you know, combining contract thinking with, with project management and uh, it's a great melting pot of experiences and, and, uh, and innovation. Um, the, the format of the conference is great, there's lots of time for networking as well, so as a sponsor it's really good. Um, as I say, our clients expect us to be here and we very much enjoy being here. <laughs>